you're watching Mike's Recipes and today I'm going to show you how to make shrimp sauce. It's the white stuff at uh, the hibachi grill. Uh, depending on what it's called in your area. Um, some people call it yum yum sauce or yummy yummy sauce. And it's being sold in stores now. But uh, instead of buying it in small amounts for the price they're charging, make it at home. Um, you can make a whole bunch for for pretty good money. I've been making this recipe for a while and I actually had um, uh, somebody request this from Atlanta, Georgia. Um, someone I uh, do some karaoke with, you know what I'm talking about, and uh, um, I'm Smule there. And uh, thanks for requesting this because um, I've been wanting to do it, but um, I've been waiting for requests. You guys got to give me a request uh, so I know what to make. Um, I have so many things going on, but I, I want you guys um, to ask me. Um, I'll make anything. So, um, what's what you want? And uh, I'll share some stuff, but request things too. So, I'm going to make you some shrimp sauce from the Hibachi Grill today. Um, let's get started. I was going to do this video with a magic bullet that I have that really whisks it up smooth if you have a magic bullet. One of those little um, blenders. Um, that's great. Not everybody does, so I'm doing mine today with the whisker. Whisk it all together really good. Keep an eye on it. Depending on your mayonnaise, you're going to have uh, thick or thin, um, different brands, different qualities. The better the quality mayonnaise, the better quality your product. It's just how it is. I found a pretty good priced one, and it tastes a lot like Hellman's. But I noticed that it is a little thinner. Um, some people like theirs thin. The kind they give you at the restaurant is, um, I don't know, the kind I've had is pretty thin at the restaurant. I, I'm going to add some more mayonnaise to mine, though. If you want a little thicker, add just a little more mayonnaise. You're going to put this in the fridge. Make If you're going to do it uh, for dinner, do it first thing in the morning. Put it in the fridge. Anything you leave in the fridge for a while tastes even better. The flavors marry together. They come together. Why do you think leftovers are so good? So put it in the fridge. Keep it there for a day. You know, next day. Till the next day. 
whisk it good, and you're done.